assalamu alaikum viewers in previous video i have explained you what is exponent and laws of exponent i have explained product law quotient law power law now today i will explain what is zero exponent now look here zero exponent what is the definition of zero exponent when a number is raised to the power of zero the result is always one okay it means ke jab bhi hamari kisi number ki power zero hogi uska result hamare paas kya aayega hamesha equals to one aayega now uh, we will explain this from quotient law look here here we have a raised power m divided by a raised power n is equal to a raised power m minus n now applying this to the following let's say take some example we have taken this example a raised power 3 divided by a raised power 3 now look at here we will apply quotient law here okay what we will applying we are applying quotient law here it means what quotient law says if the base is same we will subtract its powers if the base is same we will subtract its powers so here we have a raised power 3 minus 3 base is same we will subtract the powers so what we will get we will get a raised power 0 now we will solve this one without applying quotient law look here how we can solve this a raised power 3 divided by a raised power 3 now uh you know it if we have a raised power 3 we can write a three times a multiply by a multiply by a division sign here we have this division and a raised power 3 we will open it a multiply a multiply a okay when we will do cutting of all these three a's all is we will get answer 1 here so by comparing these two you can see here from this we are getting answer this a raised power 0 and here we are getting answer 1 so this means a raised power 0 is equal to 1 this shows that when a number is raised to a power of 0 the result is always 1 iska matlab hai ki hamare kisi bhi number ki power 0 hogi to uska result hamare paas kya aayega 1 jis tarah ab yahan pe a tha a raised power 0 is equal to 1 x की फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम इसमें x लेंगे x की पावर इज इक्वल टू वन कोई भी नंबर आ जाएगा थ्री रेस पावर जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव नेगेटिव एक्सपोनेंट जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ नेगेटिव एक्सपोनेंट इज ए रेस पावर माइनस एम इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर ए रेस पावर एम वाई वी आर डूइंग दिस टू चेंज दिस साइन एंड हाउ वी विल चेंज दिस साइन बाय changing its position to numerator to denominator okay uh, now what we have here 1 over 8 when we will write it in, in its power form we can write it in 1 over 2 raised power 3 is equal to we can change its position uh, and this positive 3 will become negative 3 here now look at some examples here we have this example this one then now how we will solve this look here first of all we have to clearly see what we have to do and what we can apply here which law we will we can apply here now look here we can apply power law here that is a s power m power n is equal to a raised power m multiply by n we will multiply its powers okay now look here what we have when there is no power here it is 1 we will multiply 5 with 1 we will get 2 raised power 5 here now look here here we have a raised power 3 when we will multiply this a with 5 look here we will applying power law here okay we will multiply the powers 
now we will uh, when we will multiply 8 we will get 5 multiplied by 3 15 here we will get b raised power 10 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 now look here here we will get here it is minus 4 and here it is minus 1 when we will multiply minus 4 multiply by minus 1 we will get minus minus plus 4 multiply by 1 4 so here we will get positive 4 in the same way when we will multiply 3 with minus 1 positive 3 plus minus minus and 3 multiply by 1 3 now next in next step we will apply here we will apply here product law that is when we have same base we will multiply its powers okay when we have same base and sorry when we have same base and in between multiplication sign we will add its powers okay now look here here we will get 2 raised power as it is because there we don't have 2 here look here we have a and a here so base is same we will add the powers 15 plus 4 so we will get a raised power 19 here in the same way here it is base same and we will add the powers when we add them we will get b raised power 7 in this step we are applying product law okay and in this step we are applying power law now look another example prove that a raised for m minus n multiply by a raised for n minus p multiply by a raised for n minus m is equal to 1 first of all we will take it left hand side and prove it okay now look here what we have left hand side first of all look at the left hand side here base is same so we will add its power we have we will apply product law here when we have base same base we will add the powers so we will add its power all powers so what we will get m we will cancel m with m because here it is plus m and it is minus m minus n plus n minus p plus p so we will get zero here and as we know um, the zero exponent uh, according to zero exponent we will get a raised for zero is equal to one so hence we have proved that left hand side is equal to right hand side which is equal to one